Hey, this is Pete. Thanks for checking out my channel and this week's blues guitar tutorial. So this time around, I'm doing a 12-bar blues progression. It's in the key of G major, and I'm using a rock and roll feel, an old-time rock and roll groove using a straight eighth note rhythm. So I'm going to get started with the example and then continue with the tutorial. If you enjoy the video, remember to send me a like, and you can always subscribe to the channel for these weekly blues guitar lessons. key of G major. This is a 12 bar blues progression so I'm using three chords, a G, a C, and a D. And I've got a straight time rhythm happening here. Alright, so unlike a blues shuffle I'm playing straight eighths and I'm not swinging those eighth notes. So here's what I'm playing. It's a real workout for the pinky, so make sure you're good and warmed up before you try this. And one thing for sure, it'll strengthen that pinky, which is usually the uh, laggard or fingers. All right, so. All right, so I'm playing over that B flat twice on my way up and then back on my way down. So I'm going from a B flat to a B. That's an, an E right there. Back to the B flat. Of course, you can start that slow and build up to speed. And then for the four, I'm doing the same thing but off of a D. Back to the one. And then for the five, all right, the four, one more time, all right, so for the last four bars of this progression, I got a five, a four, which are both played quite staccato, and then I've got a turnaround line that I'm going to show you right now, so. So I'm chromatically playing up to my five. And those are double stops. So I'm going from a C, C sharp to a D. And that's my five. For the second 12 bar section, I'm playing a real classic rock and roll style rhythm. Coming in from a half tone below and uh, sliding in. And then the four. From a B to a C. to G. And once again, working out that pinky. It's going to be strong by the end of practicing this one a few times around. All right, for the five, it's the same as my first 12 bar section. And then... Same turnaround as well, but I'm just ending it this time around. All 
Thanks for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas on the rock and roll rhythm guitar sound. It was really common in the 50s and 60s, this type of tone and sound. The rhythm as well, a straight time rhythm feel. So generally, it's a clean guitar tone. I've got my amplifier set clean. I got a little bit of reverb and I've got this strap in the middle position with a real clean sound for a rhythmic percussive attack. So check some of those recordings out from some of the pioneers in the 50s and 60s for more ideas. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember that you can subscribe to the channel for weekly blues guitar lessons. See you again really soon.